Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with another short interesting video again and today video is reacting just uh, random gist at your table. A lot have been happening on social media. I say let me come and keep you guys updated because many of you are not aware of the happenings of the buzz buzz on social media. I say let me come and tell you. This video you like, you can call it a proco video, gossip video, update, any way you call it is accepted by me. Now, sip your wine, sip your juice, because it's getting interesting. That is how this Nollywood actress, Sarah Mountains, <laughs> Sarah Mountains eh, is Nollywood actress that I don't even know mm, because she's not that popular. She's a little, she's a baby actress. That was how she came out on Instagram and started advising single ladies to snatch a man from a lazy and lousy housewife. <laughs> when she say lazy and lousy, please, I don't know what she mean. Is it the lazy inside or the lousy inside? Please, someone should please make me to understand. Sarah Mountains. So the best advice you can give is for single ladies to snatch away someone's husband. <laughs> please, eh? single ladies out there. If you watch her or you listen to her say those blah blah blah, please don't go and snatch someone's husband. Don't go and snatch someone's husband because most married women have worked out for their marriage. Most married women have sacrificed a lot for their marriage to work and they will not be happy when you come to snatch or when you go and snatch your husband. They will not be happy with you. And you know, as a single lady, pray for you to meet your own man. Work out for yourself. Build yourself to meet your own man. Don't put eye in people's husband. Don't put eye that is someone's money or someone's husband money that I will use to buy my Jeep, buy my lasers. No, that is wrong. And mind you, if you want to snatch, if you want to snatch, <laughs> some people don't forgive. Some people don't forgive. Some people hardly forget or forgive. So if you want to snatch someone's husband, some may pour you pepper when they find out. They will pour you hot water. They will pour you acid. So be mindful of the kind of men you snatch. <laughs> because some people's wives are more than lion. Some people's wives are more than the devil himself. So, advising single ladies to go and snatch people's husband is not okay by me. Oh, single ladies out there, it's not advice you come across on social media that you take. Oh, oh, oh. When I say this social media of it, it will cause something. Some of my friends are saying, no, nah, it will not cause anything. It's so, 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 so. Uh oh, social media is good. We are in technology world. But some advice that some people give is just a no-no to me. It's just a no-no to me. If you want to give that advice and tell someone to go and snatch somebody's husband, that is a no-no to me. Now, <laughs> men are under the bridge in the church. In the mosque, at the roadside, walk out yourself, build up yourself, and pray for your own man to come. Because hey, if you think the house you are staying or the kind of life you want to live without someone's husband, you can't live that life. Hey, anything you see, hey, take it at your own risk. Because most married women, they don't have joy at all. When you come across their husband, they will deal with you. They will deal with you, miss this like. Hey, they will tell you that, no, hey, this marriage, hey, I have worked out for it. I have sacrificed much for it. You are what? Who are you? Let me show you the kind of stuff I made up. Please don't take that Sarah Mantis advice. That uh, advice is very, very wrong. Build yourself, work out yourself, and pray for God to bless you with your own man. Because if you snatch someone's husband, anything you see, take it like that. Now, the other news again, the other news again <laughs> is how a best friend <laughs> killed his fellow friend. Uh, this is friend have been very good to her. They be so good living where and she killed this her friend because she snatched her boyfriend from her for past 10 years. Something that happened for 10 years back. This her friend kept it in her mind. She put the grudges in her mind and you know, after 10 years after she apologized for this friend that they should live as it used to be you know when the going was good and this our friend anita okay the friend name is glory and this our friend is anita that was how she was like okay thank god my friend are forgiving me oh let us live as it as it used to be oh 
and this her friend follow her. She lure her. She deceive her to her earth. And on getting to her house, she brought out knife and stabbed this her friend to death. You know, the neighbors heard the voice and they came out. They rushed out to the scene and on getting there, before they could rush her to the hospital, this lady is already dead. This thing happened in Lagos in a place called Aja. That was where this thing happened. Now, <laughs> you know I told you people, don't go and snatch someone's husband or someone's boyfriend because not everybody forgive. Not everybody forgive easily. Some people, this thing we call conscience. Some people don't have conscience. Some people conscience don't even work at all. Even the devil is saying, no, hey, this is not my handwork. This person is the devil himself. This is not my handwork. Some people are more terrible than the devil. So the boyfriend now is not a commodity that if you did not marry that man, there is no man out there for her to marry. Now, if you know that there are some friends you are making, and you have beef with them and they come back for settlement after the settlement you should be very careful i'm not saying you should not settle with them but be very careful because some of them that will come back for settlement are after something some of them are back to revenge some of them are here to pay you back some of them are here to strategize in a way to fall you so make sure you are not carried away you know, even after they arrest her, they ask her questions, they ask her if she's guilty for what she did, she said no. She said she's not guilty, that she's even happy that she accomplished her aim. And she got it so easy and fast. How could somebody keep grudge for 10 years? A whole 10 years. <laughs> Some people don't even have conscience at all. Some people's conscience eh, have lost for a very long time. That is why I say you should be very careful. Be mindful of the kind of things you snatch or the kind of people's husband or boyfriend you snatch because some people or some persons, they don't forgive easily. They don't forgive at all. You take their things away from them and they will tell you that I'm here to fight you back. I will fight you back and take that thing away from you. So be very careful. That is why I said that that advice Sarah Mantis gave on Instagram, that advice is the negative one. Because if you snatch someone's husband, not everybody have conscience of forgiveness. So be very, very careful. Don't snatch someone's husband. Build yourself. Work out for yourself and pray for God to bless you with your own husband. I come to the conclusion of my video today. If you know you are just coming across my channel, please do it to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And if you are a returning subscriber, I love you. I appreciate you. Bye-bye. Wakobiro. Namaste.